Whew, I got the chills. Uh, this is a mystery of epic proportions, and... Oh! Uh, we might have just got locked in here, y'all. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of The Firewatch. We are almost at the entrance for Cave 452. In fact, here, here it is. And there's the gate. We found the key on an alarmed backpack in the last episode. Flashlight. And, um... I've been told that Debbie lost this key years ago. Let's see if it does what we think it will do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. Whew, I got the chills. Uh, this is a mystery of epic proportions, and... Oh! Uh, we might have just got locked in here, y'all. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Shit. Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get this damn reception. Shoot, okay, well... Well... Um... Okay. Hey, this looks like a way out, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Maybe I can get out through here. Pulaski? What the hell's Pulaski? Oh. Is that the name of my house? Sh oh. Well. So much for that. Squeeze through or drop. Jesus, down. this is a big cave. Uh, let's avoid that long, steep drop. This will probably. Squeeze through. What if we get stuck? Okay, squeeze through. Okay, we're through. I think. Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, this isn't leading to the bottom of that long, steep drop. And this looks like the kind of bridge that will kill you. So let's take a run at it, okay? There we go. What's down there? Okay. Wow, 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 wow. This is a giant freaking cave. It's freezing in here. And we got no contact with the outside world. Is this a way out? Potentially? Not one I can climb, apparently. We're alone in this cave, and we haven't spent a whole lot of this game being alone. We've had a constant lifeline on the other side of that radio. Someone who's caught up in the same giant conspiracy that we're caught up in. We have been monitored. People watching us, listening to us, going into our our towers when we're not there. And um, there was talk of suggestion, like susceptibility su to suggestion, uh, to manipulation maybe is the term they used. Oh, I almost wish I'd gone down that long steep drop. Whoa. Yes. Yes, okay. Long drop down. Once I go through here, I can't get back out. And that rock looks like it might. I can't talk to Delilah? Okay, fine. Fine, I'm going back in. I probably can't get back to where I was anyway. Okay, let's drop down. Let's see if she can contact us out here. Once we've gotten clear of these caves. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No. No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. 
I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Right. Well, that doesn't I can't... sound dangerous. Um, okay. Let's see if we can't get ourselves the hell out of here and get back to freaking whoa, whoa. Delight, well, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Wow. Yeah, he built himself a real castle. It's so weird that it's in this spot, isn't it? Wow, handmade sign. Oh, wow. But, oh, this is exactly what we needed. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Uh, okay. Let's examine everything here. Bundle of... Those are old as hell, but they might work. Explore deeper into the cave. Cool. Wizards and wyverns sheet. This is Dungeons and Dragons, I guess, right? Two-handed. Gladius Silva. Chaotic good. Yeah, yeah, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Longsword, throwing dagger, battle axe, short sword, hit points. Armor. Cool. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. Hi, Ranger. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got if around to it. he found this note, he left a note for a with Ranger a bunch of climbing them anchors. And send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope wow. it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. I'm gonna take this. Um, it might not be as obvious as what I think it is here. If we have to use secret code to communicate, maybe they did too. Hand-drawn schematic. Backpack retrieval. My rope and our camera. Yeah, 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 I found it. I found back on your second day yeah I found a plan Brian drew about how he was gonna get it back oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate it's some wily coyote stuff I'll tell you that much radio good one with Brian and Ned there's a ham radio schematic here something Brian was working on yeah uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him you know, tinkering on stuff like that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. He can't mow your lawn. That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, Game boy. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah, I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Wow. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be Dinner. out here. Yeah. I... Why are there so many? <sighs> they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. Right. I lied. And just said it was Ned. A bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. <sighs> Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry.
Science homework? Doc Brian Goodwin, Hamilton Science Fair, Rough Draft. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. These your own words, Brian? MSC is a radio propagation that made... Yeah, right. Friend of my dad who lives in Albuquerque. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Gladius Silva. The Draculords. Brian Goodwin. There's Freddy. That looks like, uh... Yeah. How weird. Oh, wait, don't throw it. Pick it up and read it. A folder. Okay. I was hoping there was something more to it, being that it was held down. I think we've searched everything in this place. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably ah. stolen pillows. That little shit. Wow. Handmade sign. It has been burnt. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. It's weird. I guess we gotta make it back to Two Forks. This little hideout. Pretty cool. What are these wires? It's climbing rope, right? Okay. This is such a neat mechanic they added into the game. Take pictures of your favorite moments. Uh, I can't get down this way, can I? Yes. There, now I can now I can make my own climbing spots. Find out soon, darling. There's got to be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? No, I think I'm probably good. Bring on jail. You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one <laughs> stuffed away in the Lusk women's prison for the next ten years. Wow. Oh, uh, also, good. those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody Thank did. the Lord. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. But they didn't get a call. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Yeah. All right, guys. In this episode, we entered this cave. Found our way out the other side after getting trapped in and discovered Brian's hideout. In the next, we will re-enter this cave and see what secrets it holds. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Wow. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us. Shut it, kids. Hey, I see plenty of boobs.